What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest channel and podcast. If you are on the podcast platforms, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you are listening to this slash watching this on YouTube, please do the same while simultaneously hitting that like button. It's like walking into the room and hitting the light switch. Let's just go ahead and brighten up the place and let's get into this conversation. I was actually going to talk about this before and I'm actually going to do two separate conversations talking about a few people when it comes to people that are getting married to people that are pastors in the church that have some either you know celebrity or fame to their name or those you know going in the opposite direction but in this conversation I wanted to talk about Shawnee O'Neal and her husband, new husband, Keon Henderson, who is a pastor of a church. And I had been debating whether I was going to talk about this before because I don't know a lot about Keon Henderson. And what I know of Shawnee O'Neal is basically of what most of us know about her, that she is the ex-wife of Shaquille O'Neal. She started the Basketball Wives franchise on VH1, and she's pretty much played her position on the show, which is an executive producer and also being one of the stars on the show. But I wouldn't say not problematic, but not really getting her hands dirty. Because if you've watched Basketball Wives, which I I used to years ago, I haven't watched that show in a very long time, but if... You remember years ago, the Basketball Wise franchise definitely got really gritty, grimy, and dirty because you had people fighting, jumping on tables, trying to bash people over the head with champagne bottles, um, someone's ex-husband, or at the time, I think they were actually getting ready to go through a divorce, threw a drink in his wife's face and that was crazy and just so many different things that's happened on the show and there's just been a lot of problematic things when it comes to the basketball wise franchise but shawnee o'neal who is 47 was the one that was just kind of in the background but in the front as well and now she's married to a pastor who's 41 It's a lot to unpack with this situation, and I don't have the time for it. I'm actually going to put a link in the description box of some commentary that I heard on the My View, My Opinion YouTube channel and podcast. It's um, someone I've been subscribed to her channel for several years, and I love her commentary because it's very well balanced. She's extremely intelligent and her commentary is very, very level-headed and very mature. And, and And I love the way she expresses herself when it comes to her commentary. And she shared some things about Keon Henderson that should have been red flags for Shawnee O'Neal. So I'm going to put a link to that and I want you to go and check out that commentary. I'm not going to really go deep into it because I want you to check out the commentary yourself and listen to it. But what I was going to talk about when it comes to Shawnee O'Neal and Keon Henderson was even before I heard the commentary on the My View, My Opinion YouTube channel, this situation, this relationship, this marriage... It actually reminds me a bit of the Megan Good and Devon Franklin marriage. Now, if you remember them, Megan Good, she's a celebrity, an actress. She's been in Hollywood since she was a child. And Devon Franklin, she and he were in a relationship together. They wrote a book together called The Weight. And they seem to have a very happy marriage. And She was in ways trying to button herself up, I believe, just my opinion, to be in a marriage with someone who is a a minister. And so with her doing that, she got a lot of critique and criticism, mainly from 
primarily from women, let's just be honest, in the church arena because they felt like the way she dressed on award shows and out in public, she just wasn't as buttoned up as she should be if she was going to be the wife of a pastor or the other phrase that we know, a first lady. And a first lady of a church is a a woman who's married to the pastor of the church. They call them the first lady. I don't know where that came from. I mean, we know that we call the wife of the president of the United States the first lady. So that's kind of funny to me <laughs> when you really break it down and think about it. But that's neither here nor there. That's just what it is. That's what the title is that they have. But Devon Franklin was virtually an unknown until he got with Megan Good. And then when he got with Megan Good, those who are in the Hollywood world and others who knew about Megan Good by proxy would know about Devon Franklin. And that's not to say that Devon Franklin didn't have what he had before he got with Megan Good, right? So he had what he had, and she definitely had what she had. But he definitely got more acclaim and more well-known being connected, attached to Megan Good. Well, for whatever the reasons were, the relationship didn't work out, and he filed for divorce. That's not to say that she didn't have her issues and she, you know, wasn't okay with leaving the marriage as well. I don't know that. But he was the one that filed for divorce. And in my honest opinion, just being beautifully honest, I felt like in some ways he used her. I feel like in a number of different ways he used her. And I'm not going to break down all of those reasons why, but you can let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section. And then now we have Shawnee O'Neill and Pastor Keon Henderson. Now, Pastor Keon Henderson, again, for a lot of people who know about Shawnee O'Neill, didn't know anything about a Keon Henderson. And again, that's not to say that he didn't have those who knew who he was and followed him. But he's had two previous marriages, and he was the one that filed for divorce in both of those situations. And now he's married to Shawnee O'Neill. They're going to have this reality I won't even say reality show, but it'll be like a three-part special that's going to be airing on VH1 detailing their wedding, their destination wedding. And from what I've heard, Shawnee is saying that she wants to back away from Basketball Wives. I guess now that she's married to a pastor, it's not a good look for her to be on the show anymore. That's not to say she may not still be executive producing it because I'm sure she's still going to get her money. Because it's her baby, but her being on the show anymore, I guess that's an out for now because she is now married to this pastor. And I believe that Megan Good did a number of those things as well when she was married to Devon Franklin. I believe she turned some projects down and backed away from some things and did some things differently because of now the person that she is attached to. But with Shawnee O'Neill, being married to this man who to me seems that he had his sights set on what he wanted and he knew how to work it and he got what he wanted and Shawnee O'Neill was the prize now you know they're being interviewed by People Magazine think about it would he have been interviewed by People Magazine and showcased in People Magazine if he wasn't with Shawnee O'Neill no (laughs) no he wouldn't So now that they're going to be showcased on VH1, they've been in People Magazine. He's talking about she's so amazing and she's the most laid back, hilarious, fun loving person. She's a woman of faith. Really? Okay. (laughs) And, you know, it's just it's just crazy. I don't know. I'm not wishing anything on these people. God knows I'm not. I don't know how long this relationship is going to last, but I am going to say this. I feel that he is using her. I'm not saying that there are no feelings there involved. I'm definitely not saying that he can't stand her at all, but he's just doing everything for the sake of 
the connections that he can get and the access that he can get and the more fame and acclaim that he can get. But I believe that he is. So now he's going to be on VH1. He's going to grow with more followers. Definitely he's going to get more eyes on his church and all of those different things like that. And from what I heard on the My View, My Opinion channel about his previous marriages, it wasn't a whole lot of time in between the last marriage and divorce and him meeting Shawnee and then them, you know, getting married. So we'll see how this how this plays out. But if the marriage does not last, I can probably guarantee that he's going to be the one to file for divorce and not Shawnee. Shawnee is older than him. I believe that Shawnee really just wanted to have love again. I believe she had, you know, dated another guy that was younger than her on one of the previous seasons of Basketball Wives. And I don't know how serious that was, but I believe that she just wanted to have someone. And so what would be better than to go from a player, literal player, Shaquille, who we know as Shaq, who was a basketball player, now retired, and definitely a player because I, I'm sure he was unfaithful on a number of occasions when he was married to her, to now being married to the pastor of a church. And I'm sorry, being married to a pastor of a church definitely doesn't change people's behavior if they choose not to really change. I mean, we've seen that with Pastor Jamal Bryant, and there's a whole slew of people that we could name if we really had the time or the interest in even doing that right now. But guys, I really want to know what you think about this. Do you believe that Keon or Pastor Keon is really in this for the long haul? Or do you believe that he found his prey and he definitely is in this, not saying he doesn't have any love, but he definitely is in this marriage with Shawnee because this is definitely a step up for him. You let me know your thoughts about this. Definitely go listen to that episode that I put in the description box from the My View, My Opinion channel about Pastor Keon Henderson and the red flags that Shawnee seemed to have missed. And guys, this is Beth. And until the next time, thank you so much for liking and subscribing. And I'm just being beautifully honest.